on my brain, but got it good, can't complain. It's like I'm losing my mind, and time's hard to find. Also, girl, got it. Hi everyone, it's me, Jessalyn. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to share with you my summer vacation vlog. I went to three different places, and so I thought I would just share with you guys everything that I did there. So this first location, we are in Paso Robles, and this is the hotel room that we stayed at. Hi! Hi, Exit! So we're gonna go eat, and then we're gonna visit the, what's it called? Sensorio. Yeah, Sensorio, yum, yum. it's the field of light. Okay, so I'm wearing this green tank top from Princess Polly, and then this jacket here is from a place called White House Black Market. Originally, my mom wanted this, but they didn't have her size. They had my size though, so I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are back on the road and we are going to eat somewhere. We decided to eat at this place called Tooth and Nail. It's a winery. <laughs> um, it was pretty cool actually visiting a winery for the first time. And they did have some pretty decent dishes to choose from. Uh, I personally really like their fries. However, their Wagyu sliders and their cheese board is also pretty good. Field of Lights at Sensorio has been one of the many destinations that we wanted to visit, so I was pretty excited and so was my mom. We actually got VIP tickets, so we got to sit at the VIP terrace and it was pretty nice. They had like a bunch of different fireplaces. It was also really, really cold at night, so I guess it came in handy. Fries. Fries. Hey. Can I say Yep, they said no food allowed, but we snuck a banana in here, huh? <laughs> Peace. I don't know when the lights are gonna turn on, but when they do, it's gonna look cool. <laughs> wow, look at the lights. Abby, you wanna get in it? You are the opposite of these lights. <gasps> wow. Look how pretty Do you want to hold it? Are. Yeah. Anyway. But show the lights too, Abby. Nobody wants to see your face. Okay. Start posing. Go. Another pose. Another pose. Another pose. Another pose. Just keep Where's going. My hair? <laughs> Abby said that I look like I'm cosplaying for. What is it? Cosplaying. From Attack on Titan. Yeah. So these are the light towers. Oh wait. How cool it looks. Some other things that I didn't record is that like when you're VIP, you get two complimentary drinks and you could also buy like food and stuff. So my sister and I got hot chocolate and my mom actually got their cheese plate, which comes in a really weird plastic case that looks like this. So it's not actually on a cheese board. And after some waiting, the lights eventually started to turn on and look at how pretty it looks. It was kind of hard to film and make sure to get like clear images of the lights because it was so dark, but it looked really nice. All right, day two. So we packed up all of our stuff, loaded it into the car and headed our way to Hearst Castle. This is also one of the many places that we wanted to visit. Um, so I, again, was really excited. It looks so nice, you guys. Like. Everything about this house slash castle slash, I don't even know what to call it at this point, is just awesome. I was too busy filming and taking pictures, so I wasn't really paying attention to most of the history behind this castle. I was trying to get content for you guys, you know, but you can always read up about it. Again, this place is really beautiful, and if you're ever in California, specifically like in this area, then definitely check it out. You could see the freaking ocean from here. I can't believe people actually lived here. I, that's like, that's like the dream life, honestly, to live in such a big, beautiful place like this. Inside was also really nice. I kind of like the vibe of everything too, like all the antiques and the old look and this indoor pool. Oh my gosh, this indoor pool is everything. All right, so we just left Hearst Castle. Now we're gonna go to the second hotel. Okay, for our second location, we are driving up to Cambria 
and it was really nice. We also stayed at this super cute inn. I really liked it. I loved our room, um, especially the view. We had a balcony where like you can sit too and just like, you know, read or do whatever in front of a really nice ocean view, which you guys will see in a minute here. It's just so nice. And I actually was sitting out here for like a few hours just reading my book. It's so pretty and the breeze and everything, the weather was perfect too. Right across from the inn, there's also this little like trail that you can walk along and it'll take you right to the beach. So as you can see, we were on our way. So we're at the beach now. I don't think we're, I'm not swimming. Um, <laughs> we're just gonna walk around and take some pictures. So this is the view from the balcony. I could just sit here, relax, and read a book. It's a good thing I brought this book. It's perfect, it's perfect, the scenery and everything, so. Ever since I started reading the series, I've just been obsessed. It's really good. <laughs> we jumped locations. We are here at Pismo Beach, their little pier area, because they had fireworks for 4th of July. We wanted to see fireworks, and in Cambria, they were having like some sort of event, but it was really, really foggy. And so we were like, we're probably not gonna see the fireworks. It was also really crowded. So we decided to drive all the way to Pismo from where we were staying at, and look at how pretty the fireworks are. It was my brother's first time like actually seeing fireworks live, <laughs> which, okay, it kind of sounds sad, but the thing is we don't really have that where I live and we were also in a pandemic, so. Today is our last day on vacation. We said goodbye to the room that we stayed at at this inn. If I could live there forever, I definitely would. <laughs> so now we are on our way to our next location and this one I'm actually pretty excited about. We went ahead and visited Cal Poly since we were already in the area, sort of. I'm trying to visit every single college campus that I'm planning on applying to once I'm a senior so I can get all the hoodies and just have this collection of like college sweaters. We're gonna get a hoodie if we're here at Cal Poly. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> they definitely have a pretty nice campus as you guys saw earlier and right now. Um, it's also pretty big. It's definitely bigger than the college campus that's like right next to my high school. Uh, their little like union area is also pretty nice. This is their university union. They have a Starbucks, hey. Um, and this is their bookstore. They have a bunch of stuff in there. My siblings got snacks while I got my hoodie, which I was searching for. It took us a while to find this place, actually. We kept asking a bunch of people, like, where it was. Eventually, we found it after asking six different people. <laughs> we got the hoodie. I'm gonna put it on right now. So I got the hoodie. It's like this. We're back on the road, and for our last and final stop, we decided to go back to Pismo Beach. So we're at the pier, here's Bryce. And we're just gonna walk around and look for stuff to do here. Why Pismo Beach? What's the sign? P. What does it say, Bryce? Pismo Beach. <laughs> Pismo Beach. This hat is in the wrong side. I hate this hat. <laughs> Abby doesn't want to eat the fish because she feels bad for it, but she still eats meat. You fake vegetarian. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my summer vacation vlog. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Summer is coming to an end, sadly. August is next month and I have to start doing my summer homework because that's due pretty soon. I'm definitely going to be filming some back to school related videos for you guys. I'm not too sure when most of you start. I know it's probably early August, so I'll start posting those next week, hopefully or I don't know, sometime in like mid-July.
we'll see. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!